so here I have a model with a moderating effect and this has been uh, analyzed already so what I'm going to do is and I, I can do this before I run the analysis before I run step 5 what I'm going to do is to change the moderating effect settings and uh, starting in version uh, 7.0 of War PLS I have uh, several options one of them the default is two stages the other is variable orthogonalization the other is indicator products the two stages uh, option is um, an option that where the uh, latent variable scores are calculated and then the um, the uh, interaction latent variable that is used to operationalize the moderating effect is calculated based on those indicators so in this option if you go and look at the the um, the indicators uh, in latent variables say indicator loadings and cross loadings what you see is you will see um, a loading of one and only one indicator associated with that latent variable that is the interaction latent variable of course in war PLS um, the the graph shows the moderating effect as it should be shown which is as a link between the latent variable and another direct link so this is uh, this point 44 is two stages if I change to variable orthogonalization I should get very similar results not identical but very similar so once I save the software redoes the analysis and there was no change here I still have 0.44 if I look at the fractional path coefficients maybe I'll see a small difference so variable orthogonalization and two stages should yield very similar results if um, there is no major source of bias such as uh, endogeneity in the model the other option so I have uh, my outer model analysis algorithms PLS regression which is a composite based algorithm so if I use the other option indicator products I should also get this very similar results very similar results so I will do that and again no change here now the point at which there will be a change here is when I define uh, my outer model analysis algorithm as a factor based algorithm so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna choose my outer model analysis algorithm uh, to be the factor based PLS type CFM 3 which is one of the factor based algorithms and now as you can see uh, it increased the magnitude of the moderating effect from 0.44 to 0.52 uh, because this moderating effect affects success this direct effect went down so there is no free lunch uh, if you increase one coefficient the other coefficient uh, that points to the same um, in the, uh, the same dependent variable or the same endogenous variable um, will go down because they both compete for the explained variance, variance in, in this variable but as you can see it changed from 0.44 to 0.52 the reason for this change is that in a factor based analysis um, the interaction variable that implements the moderating effect will be treated as a factor so if it is made up of uh, latent variables that have multiple indicators each the product of the indicators will lead to a, a larger number of indicators um, and uh, that interaction latent variable will be treated as a factor by the software uh, in the case of two stages so if I choose the two stage options uh, the two stages option I will see a change 
So you will see a change and, and it went down to 0.36 uh, because this path coefficient is stronger again since they both compete for the explained variable, uh, the explained variance and success, uh, they tend to go up and down um, inversely to one another in connection with one another. So uh, the, the options for m moderating effects calculation, uh, they tend to have uh, more of an impact in terms of the coefficients when we use factor-based algorithms. When we use composite-based algorithms, the difference between the three approaches is minimal. With the two stages, which is the default, being the most computationally efficient, so that's that makes it uh, a, a desirable option. The second most computationally efficient is the variable orthogonalization option. This concludes this demo.